Bible says, but thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And we thank him that we all have the victory. So may we please stand as we go to our God in prayer. our heads. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this amazing day. We thank you for raising your son up from the dead. We all have sinned and we all fall short of the glory of God, but because Jesus Christ overcame death, we now have an opportunity to experience eternal life for those who believe in him. Lord God, I pray for all those who don't have a relationship with you. I pray that as a, as a church, we will continue to minister to those who are lost. I pray that this service will bless us all. May your light shine through those who are part of this special presentation for today. We give you all the glory and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Come on, can you clap your hands this morning if you're glad that Jesus got up? Come on, all over this parking lot, we come to celebrate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Anybody love Jesus this morning? Aren't you glad we're celebrating that he died and that he rose again? Come on, tell somebody next to you. Say, I don't know about you, but I'm glad Jesus is alive this morning. Hallelujah. Yes, we sing praises. In your program, you have the lyrics to the worship songs if you need it. So if you want to grab that, you can grab it. But I believe the songs you probably know them. It goes like this. Let's do it. We sing praises to the king, for he is the king of kings. We sing praises to the king, for he's the king of kings. Come on, sing it. We sing praises to the king, for he is the king of kings. We sing praises to the king, for he's the king of kings. We give him glory. Give him glory, for he's the king of kings. Give him glory, for he's the king Come on, clap your hands and sing. Give him glory. We sing praises, we sing praises to the king, for he is the king of kings. We sing praises to the king, for he's the king of kings. We sing praises to the king, for he is the king of kings. We sing praises to the king, for he's the king of kings. Give him glory, for he's the king of kings. Give him glory, for he's the king of kings. Give him glory, for he's the king of kings. Give him glory, for he's the king of kings. Says all hail, all hail King Jesus. All hail Emmanuel, come on, declare it. All hail Emmanuel. Do that again, all over the building, let's say it again. All hail King Jesus. Come on. He reigns forever. He reigns forever. He reigns forever and evermore. He reigns forever. He reigns forever. He reigns forever and evermore. He reigns forever. He reigns forever. He reigns forever and evermore. this morning. We have a reason to bless and celebrate our God and our King. Truly he has risen and we're going to declare it today. I got a reason. Everybody clap your hands, clap your hands. Come on. Woo. It's real simple. It says I got a reason. I got a reason. To clap my hands. To clap my hands. Say I got a reason. For joy, peace, and wealth. For joy, peace, and wealth. For your divine favor. For your divine favor. For being a merciful savior. For being a merciful savior. Cause even when I was faithless. Even when I was faithless. Your love had never changed. Your love had never changed. An ever faithful loving God.
we bless your name this morning, oh God. We exalt your name in this place. We lift your name, oh God. We honor you, Jesus. We bless and celebrate you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, celebrate the King this morning. Come on, y'all, to wave your hands and just bless him for who he is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Worthy is our God. Worthy to be praised. Worthy to be exalted. Hallelujah. 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 The song says, Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Hallelujah. You have done it all for me. Somebody say for me. For me. He says, death could not hold you down. You are our risen king. And you're seated in majesty. And we honor you this morning. Sing it right to the king. Sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. seated in majesty this morning, oh God. Seated in majesty. You are the risen king. You are the risen king. One more time, let's give him the highest praise. It says, hallelujah, You are the risen king. Let's declare to him. You are the 
our King this morning. Hallelujah. As our musicians continue to play softly and give you a chance just to worship the Lord on this beautiful day. Isn't it a beautiful day this day? As we celebrate his resurrection, our elder Tony is going to come and lead us to the throne of grace. Son got up. Lord God, as we set through, as, as we live through Holy Saturday, God, and we live with the tension of Jesus having died on that cross, he took every sin, every lie, every hurt, every harm, everything that we ever experienced, and he lived with that pain. But this morning, he woke up, God, and he woke up with all power. And because he woke up with that power, we celebrate you, God, on this Resurrection Sunday. God, we ask that you would be present as we go in throughout this day, as we celebrate that which you did, victory that you won for us. So, God, as we come and we lay our arms before you, God, we lift our hands and we say thank you for all of the love, all of the joy, all of the peace, and everything that you brought for us because you got up that day. And so, God, we can celebrate you this day. We can walk into all of our tomorrows knowing that you were with us and you are there. So, God, as we celebrate this day, we lift this day before you, and we just ask, God, that you would be glorified by everything that is said, everything that is done. We ask, God, that this anointing would fall on every person here and forth with us as we go out throughout this week. Lord, have your way in this service. In Jesus' name, amen. May I have everyone take their seats as we continue the service? Are y'all happy? Happy to see each other. It's a nice day. <laughs> All right. Good morning, South Bay. One more time. Good morning, South Bay. I like it. Happy Easter. He has risen, and it is time to celebrate. So these are your highlights and announcements for the week. The SBCC Women's Ministry has a new name, the Women of Grace. And with the new name comes new opportunities for growth and fellowship, like the Women of Grace Workshop for Women for Finance. If you have asked yourself questions like, how do I manage my budget? or does my spending align with core biblical values, then this is the class for you. 
So join us on Saturday, April 23rd at 10 a.m. Reservation is required, so please head over to the church website to reserve your spot. Baptism is an outward expression of recommitting your life to God. It gives you the chance to start anew with water symbolically washing away your past life and allowing you to have a fresh start with our Heavenly Father. So if you or anyone you know would like to be baptized during the Sunday, April 24th service, please email office at sobcc.org. And these are your highlights and announcements for the week. Happy Easter. Y'all stay blessed. certainly hope and pray that you have all had a blessed time connecting with each other. Thank you for those highlights and announcements of the week. Also a reminder, if you missed anything, we do update our website regularly. So you may visit sobcc.org at any time to check for any events that we have going on. Also a reminder about our tithes. You may give an offering or tithes on our website, the SOBCC app on your phone, um, via mail, the drop-off drop off box, or you may give in person here today. Our host will be positioned and ready to receive your offering at the end of service. And we will now have a song from our choir, and afterwards we will enjoy our Easter presentation, Jesus and the Carmel Macchiato. Thank you.
Yeah, I I know, but I think he's different. He had flowers sent to my job and even told me that he loves me. Yeah, I just just hope he's not like the others. I just really want to find love and just so sick of these relationships that leave me in heartbreak and disappointment. But we'll see, girl. Well, let me get into the Starbucks and get a coffee. I'll talk to you soon, okay? Love you. Bye-bye. Hi, may I help you? Hi, yes. Um, can I have a chai tea latte with extra chai, please? Sounds good. That'll be five twenty-five. Okay. Do you take Apple Pay? I sure do. Okay, great. Awesome. Thank you. I'll get this other order first, then I'll start on yours. JC, your caramel macchiato and water is ready. Hey, thank you. Hey, excuse me. Would you like some water? Oh, oh no, just here for a chai tea. Why would he think I want water from him? Well, that's because the water that I'm offering It'll change your life. <laughs> wait, wait, D did you just hear what I was thinking? And, and what is this water you keep talking about? Well, the water that I'm offering, well, the water that I'm offering is life-changing water. I mean, those that drink from it will never thirst again, I mean, not ever. It'll provide fresh flowing fountains of endless, endless life from the inside out. Hmm, well, I'm tired of being thirsty and heartbroken and always looking for someone or somebody to feel the loneliness in my life. <laughs> can you give me some of this water? You know, I can. But first, can you FaceTime your husband so he can be a part of this conversation as well? <laughs> oh, uh, I don't have a husband. You know, that's right. And the mother five guys have been sliding uh, in your DMs. They ain't your husband either. Wait, wait, how, how do you know that? <laughs> Look, there's no judgment here, Melissa. I'm not here to condemn you in any way. 
who, who, who are you and how do you know my name? I am. No, not, not ringing a bell. Mm -mm. Well, how about this? Have you ever heard the song, there was a man who is our Lord and Jesus is his name, oh, J-E-S-U-S? <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 you mean Jesus like Jesus, Jesus? <laughs> the one and only. Well, well, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be off on a cloud somewhere performing miracles? <laughs> you know, doing all those things are important, but being here with you in this moment, in this Starbucks is just as important. Melissa, you are loved. I mean, I've seen your struggle. I know your heartache, and my only desire is for you to experience the purest and deepest love that your heart has ever known. A love that will cure the longing so that you will never thirst or have to be thirsty again. It is my delight to commune with you wherever you are. I mean, even in Starbucks. I'm always with you, even when you're just getting coffee. I love you, Melissa. Wow, I... I never knew that I was so loved. I mean, I always thought of you as this, this big, amazing God and out there doing wonderful, great things and not so concerned with little old me. Well, my children are always on my mind and my grace, hope, peace, love, and my presence is always with my children. Is, is, is that the water that you speak of? It is, and as you spend more time in my presence, you'll be filled with this living water as well. Wow, Jesus, Th thank you, thank you. I, I'll never forget this moment. <laughs> and Melissa, you'll never be forgotten. <sighs> hey girl, you, you will never guess what just happened to me. Yeah, I met a man, but it, it, it's not like that. Okay, hear me out. I, I talked to Jesus today. Yes, Jesus, and he knew everything about my life before I can say anything. He, he knew about my past failed relationships and the one I'm in right now, girl. Yes, yes. And I was embarrassed at first talking to him, but he was kind, you know, and made me feel love and acceptance and no judgment at all. And kept telling me about his living water and how his presence and his peace is always available to me. Wh where are you at right now? You should come down here, you have to meet him. Yes, his name is Jesus and he's drinking a caramel macchiato. <laughs> yes, okay, okay, just get down here. I, I gotta go, I, ju I just gotta tell everybody that I know about him. Excuse me, Jesus? Yeah, hey, how's it going? For, for, forgive me for, for overhearing the conversation between you and the lady. Mm -hmm. But you mean to tell me that you hear the peddling faith in God? <laughs> well, I'm more about relationship. Yeah, for relationship. But here you want to talk about having faith in God? Yeah, yeah, I am. Let me tell you something. I've been there, I've done that, and you know what? It doesn't work. Well, James, if you got a little time, I mean, you mind telling me what you mean by that? Wait a minute, how do you know my name? <laughs> you know, I had faith in God. Mm. I mean, I'd done the Christian thing. I went to church, got involved in the church, paid my tithes, but yet my life fell into chaos. Mm. First, I had this really, really good business. And then all of a sudden, it, just closed, I had to close my doors. And then my son, my son received this football scholarship from a very prestigious <laughs> university. He was really happy, and we was happy for him. But a month before he left, he tears his ACL, and that football scholarship, gone. And my wife, my wife gets this disease and it requires her to have multiple surgeries. Now, my son and I took care of her. But mind you, we got through it, but it was rough. I mean, man, we struggled. Hmm. So how you feel that way? That's not all. What about the pandemic we've gone through? 
the loss of lives, and, and the toll that it has taken. And what about the, the mental health issues that's, that's gripping this world? Oh, let's not forget, there's a war that's happening as we speak. So tell me, Jesus, where were you in all this? Where were you when my life was falling apart? You see that, ooh, no, this is hot, hold on. You see that, James? That right there is why I'm here. Being a believer in Christ does not exempt you from experiencing bad things and difficult times. I mean, this world is a fallen, broken, and evil place. And bad things do happen. And followers of Christ aren't exempt from experiencing those bad things. But the difference is, I'm committed to being with you through every situation that you face. understand what you're saying. I, I really, really understand what you're saying. But it just always doesn't seem that you were there with me. I love you, James. And everything that I allow to touch your life is bathed in my love. I don't cause trials. I didn't cause the pandemic. I don't cause wars, James. I use them. I use them to show you that I'll never leave you, to prove to you that you can always depend on me. James, I can make all things work for the good even when you can't see it. <laughs> I mean, sometimes I remove trials and other times I allow you to go through them so you can see your own courage and faith on display. I mean, do you remember when your wife was sick? You were a pillar of strength for her. And your marriage was strengthened because of it. And if your son was away at school somewhere, then he wouldn't have been able to be by his mother's side when she needed him the most. I mean, yeah, it was a tough season, but the love, compassion, and appreciation that flows through your family now is a testimony to so many others. I mean, James. Hmm. James, 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 James. Because of what you went through, you can now help someone else. James trusted all things work out for the good. I mean, I have a master plan for your life and the lives of all my children. James, I did not ride, I did not die on that cross and rise again to fail you. Gosh, I mean, James, I, I got up from that grave with all power and wisdom, not only to be the ruler and sustainer of all creation, James, but to be with my children in the everyday moments in their lives. Oh, gosh. I am your God. You are my son. And I know you, and I desire to know you more. And I'll meet you where you are, James. Even in Starbucks? Even in Starbucks. Thank you, Jesus. I think I really needed to hear that. You know, James, glad you showed up today. Hey, uh, let me buy you a drink. Now, remember, we at Starbucks, right? You know, I have 12 friends, and I think you would have got along with them pretty well. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I have a message from one of them. It just so happened that his name is James, too, right? You might know him. You, you might have read some of his work. He got a passage in a, a bestseller somewhere. Um, but besides the point, one of his most recent posts says, consider it a sheer gift, friends, when you face trials of any kind. For you know that under pressure, your faith life is forced into the open. And, it's, and it shows its true colors. So don't try to get out of anything prematurely, but let it do its work so that you may become mature and well-developed, not deficient in any way. James, I like that name. He must be a pretty cool dude. <laughs> Wise too, I see. Well, I mean, he did for learn from the best. But um, his life experience has taught him well, just as yours will also. So how about that drink?
I think I'm going to buy him. A caramel macchiato? Caramel macchiato. All right. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. I'll have a uh, tall hot chocolate, extra hot. Extra hot, light whip. Yes, how'd you know? Someone's, someone's here waiting for you. They want me to have it ready for you. Jesus! Hey! Hey. How are you? I didn't expect to see you here. I never come to this Starbucks. I know. And hey, I know you're rushing. I mean, I know everything that you want to do today, but why don't you take some time and just sit with me? I'd love that. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for the hot chocolate. <laughs> hey, I know it's your favorite. You know me so well, Jesus. Now, sometimes I forget that. You know, I know that you know that I've, uh, I'm dealing with a lot of anxiety right now. I do. You want to talk about it? Uh, I don't even know where to begin. Well, I, I woke up this morning thinking about all that's happening in the world and, and the war and the pandemic and, and all the hurting people. And then that got me thinking about my family and... And, and don't get me wrong, you've blessed us so well. Everyone's doing well, but, but we're all getting older. My parents are getting older, my children, my siblings. And, and, and I just worry about them. I worry about everything. And, and, and then I started thinking about the church. And I love the church. I love our family. There's so many decisions to make. And I want to be, I just want to be the best me I can be. I want to be a great, a great wife, a great mother, a great pastor. And, and I want people to know you, Jesus. I, I want them to know God the Father. I want them to, to have a heart for you, to, to follow you. And, and Slow and down, <laughs> slow down. Hey, I remember feeling that same way. You did? Of course. I mean, everything that you're feeling, I have felt. All the temptation that you deal with, I know them very well. Mm -hmm. I mean, I had to deal with the master manipulator personally. I mean, anxiety, stress, worry, all these feelings are not foreign to me. I too want people to know God and to experience him and to be one with him. Mm -hmm. do, you do you remember my prayer in John 17? Yes. There's so much more that God wants to share with all of his children. I mean, so much more that he wants to share with you. You know, I, I want that too, Jesus. And you know what I'm realizing is, is, is that I, I have a struggle, I have a tension that I can spend so much time doing for you that I can sometimes forget just to be with you. And, and I know that when, when we're together like this, when I'm just in your presence, I feel your peace, I gain wisdom, I feel your love. You know, I want more of that. I, I, I want to draw closer and closer to you. I know you do. I mean, remember, Tammy, I know you by your name. I know everything about you. And just as you want to be closer to me, I desire to be closer to you. <sighs> you know, Jesus, I, I, I just want you to use my life however you want. And you know me so well, you know that's scary for me to even say. You know, I, I don't want to mess up. I know that I make a lot of mistakes. I just don't want to fail you. Mm. Always remember that I am with you. You'll never fail when you're walking and working with me. I mean, what may look like failure to you, or what may look like failure to so many others, is never fail you when you put it in my hands. I mean, I can redeem anything for my purposes. And so, Tammy, Things are not always as they appear. Didn't you just preach on that last week? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I actually did. You're right, Jesus. You know, you certainly have a way of challenging your children to practice what we preach, don't you? I do, I do. But uh, always remember, Tammy, when I rose again, it was so you and all my children would have an abundant, full life. And whether you are longing for love or dismayed by life's experiences or looking for purpose or walking faithfully with me daily or all the above, I'm with you. I'm committed to being with you in the biggest moments of your life or in the smallest, quietest moments of your life. Like when I'm rushing to get a hot chocolate, right? <laughs> Even when you're rushing to get a hot chocolate. 
Well, thank you, Jesus. I feel so much better. So glad that we spent this time together, and, and I love you so much. Hey, I'm available. Just hit me on the main line. Tell me what you want. Thank you. All right. Well, that was special. Yeah, I always enjoy spending time with our children. You think they recognize you today, Dad? No, not this time. I think the <laughs> young look actually worked. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir, it did, definitely. Here, son. I made you a caramel macchiato. Now. Look at us. <laughs> Saving souls and being blessed in the process. <laughs> hey, thanks, Dad. <laughs> and you know what? Now let's go ahead and on the piece, because I heard they got this little croissant with this ham and cheese in it. Oh, that actually sounds good. Did you hear her talk about people getting old? How would she think we is? <laughs> That's crazy. Well, family, I want to just let's just continue in our time of worship and just give praise to our cast and our play this morning. And a special thank you to Pastor Tracy. That was an original play that she wrote. I just want to thank God for her gifts. Thank you for Iris and, and our backdrop and our design. And, and before we go, before we go, I do just want to share a few words. Because what we just experienced was more than entertainment. It was a message that God has for us today. And I'm wondering if you saw yourself somewhere in the story. Maybe not exactly. I can tell you that story was my story for real. But maybe a, a concept, maybe a principle, maybe something that resonated for you. Some of us are, are looking for something. We may be looking for love or happiness or purpose or meaning in life. We've searched, we've tried, what the world tells us will bring us joy, but it still seems to elude us. Maybe some of us are disillusioned when it comes to our faith. Perhaps we were believers and Advent believers or Advent churchgoers maybe at some point, and, and life has knocked us down and beat us up a bit. What we thought to be true, what we thought God would do didn't happen the way we expected, and and perhaps we're feeling a bit jaded and bitter. We're not exactly sure what we believe anymore. Some of us have a relationship with God and we've maintained a faithful journey. But in our honest moments, we know the struggles that plague, plague us. We know the, the, the questions we have, the fears that we hold. We're aware of how much farther we need to go to be the people of God that we may want to be. Our individual stories may differ, but there is one thing that they do all have in common, one truth that we all share no matter where we find ourselves on the journey today. And that truth is that Jesus knows our name. From the beginning of time, the divine creator has, has sought a personal relationship with humanity. And through history, starting with Adam and Eve, we, we see so many instances of God reaching out to people by name. He called Abraham and Sarah and Jacob and Moses and Mary, and the list is long, by name. And Jesus does the same thing, continuing that, that divine encounter in the New Testament. He calls Simon Peter and Zacchaeus and, and so many more. And I imagine that the first response of any of these people would be the same as ours. How do you know my name? But we know in Psalms 139 that God knew us before we were even born. Isaiah 43.1 says, But now thus saith the Lord who created you, O Jacob, and who formed you, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. This speaks to the very nature and character of our Lord and his desire for a personal relationship with us. In fact, 
you could put your name in that verse. It would be equally true to read, but now thus saith the Lord who created you, put your name there. Tristan, Ashley, David, Melody, Bonnie, put your name in that spot. The Lord who created you, your name, and who formed you, your name. Fear not, for I have redeemed you and I have called you by name. You are mine. I have called you by name. You are mine. Our Lord calls you by name, and that speaks of the intimacy that Jesus wants to have with each one of us. And, G and the Jesus in our story said it well. He said, Jesus is not about religion. He's about a relationship. Now, that's how it was for Mary Magdalene. She was the first person to arrive at the tomb on that Easter morning. She had come to anoint the body with oil, as was the custom, and she found that the body was not there. The stone had been moved and the tomb was empty. Only the burial linen cloths were there. And I love this, this fact, they were neatly folded. Mary runs to tell the disciples, and, and, and two of the disciples come to see for themselves that the tomb is indeed empty. In John 20, we hear, read, that the disciples returned home, but Mary stayed at the tomb side. She's crying, and she is stricken with grief. Dear woman, why are you crying? Angels ask her. Because they've taken away my Lord, she replied and I don't know where they've put him. Listen to what happens next. Mary turns to leave, and she sees someone standing there, and it was Jesus, our risen Lord. But she doesn't recognize him, not yet. He says, dear woman, why are you crying? She says, Jesus says, who are you looking for? And Mary thought that he was the gardener. And she says, sir, if you have taken him away, tell me where you have put him, and I will go and get him. Mary, Jesus says. She turns to him and cries out, Rabboni, which is Hebrew for teacher. When she heard her name, she recognized who Jesus was. Brothers and sisters, the fact that Jesus knows us by name speaks to the truth that he knows us fully, he knows us deeply, he knows everything about us, and we all know that's scary for him to know everything about us, and yet he loves us anyway. He wants a close relationship with us, to, to talk with us and to walk with us and, and offer us a life with, with meaning and mission and purpose and joy. He wants us to enjoy an abundant life with him because he wants to be present and is present with us at all times. Our names are precious to us. We spend a lot of time deciding on what we will name our children. We want people to get our names right. We'll get an attitude if people call us out of our names. But our names are even more precious to God. Isaiah 49, 16 says that our names are written on the palms of God's hands. And every follower of Christ their name is written in God's book of eternal life. So friends, this is the true joy of resurrection. Yes, he got up, all power is in his hand. He, he defeated death. But through Jesus' death and resurrection, now there is no barrier, no separation. We don't have to go through a priest. We don't have to jump through hoops. Jesus made it possible for us to have an intimate and personal and a direct relationship with God through the power of his spirit. He invites us to come just as we are because he loves us just as we are. And he knows each and every one of us. 
by name. And oh, how you talk with me, I'm so grateful, oh, how you tell me.
and sisters, you belong to God and he knows you by name. And he paid a huge price with his own life because of his love for you. Yes, he does know your name. And the question then becomes, do you know his? Do you really know his? And we would be remiss this morning if we did not give you a chance to respond to Jesus' invitation to, to get to know him better. Now, in your program, you may have noticed there's a section in there, a little menu. And we have three specials for today. Special number one, we call the Chai Tea Chat. And the Chai Tea Chat is for those of you who maybe just feel like you want to have a conversation with Jesus and, and you'd like someone to pray with you. And if you would like a chai tea chat this morning, I invite you to move over towards the trees over there. We have uh, uh, some people waiting to, to pray with you, to talk to God with you, to listen for what you maybe would like them to talk to God. Whatever you need in a conversation, we invite you to partake of special number one and have a chai tea chat. We also have another special, special number two, we're calling the Carmel Macchiato Moment. The Carmel Macchiato Moment, obviously that's Jesus' favorite. But if there was some time during the service today that you felt a stirring in your spirit, something that resonated and you're like, you know, I, I want to know more about this Jesus, or I want to give my heart to Jesus, or I want to be a follower of Jesus, then I invite you to partake of the Karma Macchiata moment. And again, right over there by the car where they're clustered, someone will be there. You can go now or you can go after service and someone can speak to you about what it means to embark on the wonderful journey of a personal relationship with Jesus. And we have special number three. Special number three we're calling the new UHTO. The new UHTO is that living water that, that Jesus in our play talked about. And the way we're going to, 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 to celebrate that living water is if you have want to make a public declaration of your love for Jesus, maybe for the first time, or maybe you want to rededicate your life. As Sister Amber shared in our announcements, we do are ready and prepared to have a baptism ceremony next Sunday. Just let us know, let the office know. If next Sunday is not a good time, just let us know. We'll, we'll make it work for you so that you can make a public declaration through baptism, through those waters. There's nothing special about the waters, but there's nothing like living water of Jesus. Amen. Again, if you would like to request any of those specials, we have a team of people ready to pray with you, to answer questions, and even to take your name if you want to pursue baptism. Well, family, we have had a wonderful worship celebration today, have we not? And we, I am so excited by how many are here today. I don't, I didn't get the count of how many are online, but some of you I haven't seen in years, literally in years. So lots of hugs going all around. And as we prepare for our benediction, I'm going to give you some instructions for our fellowship time. We have something very fun planned and I'll give those instructions in just a moment. But let us have our benediction together and close out this part of our service. Dear Jesus, it is truly remarkable when we stop to think about that you know us each by name. When we think about the billions and billions of people on the planet right now, let alone the billions that have been since the beginning of time, Lord, may we not take that for granted. May we recognize the depth of your love for us. May we burn in our hearts to love you more. And may those who maybe not know you, Lord, 
decide that they want to know this Jesus. They want to see what, this, what, the, what the hubbub is all about. That you have risen and you are our Lord. And Lord, as we grow closer to you, may we share the good news of who you are and your great love everywhere we go until you return again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And let the whole church say amen. 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 You know my name. And oh, how you comfort me. And oh,